As far as PKR is concerned, its clash with DAP over six seats in the Sarawak state election is something it wants to move on from and focus on lending support to the candidate. Patrick Lee reports. The issue started when five PKR candidates were fielded in seats that the DAP was standing in. The DAP also put one of its own in a seat meant for PKR. Both are not backing down from their actions. And I think enough has been said on the subject. We would like to move on and we'd like to really reorientate the focus just on the candidates fighting it out against Pakistan Nasional. And we will certainly handle what needs to be handled after 7th of May. My, my words, as I stated today, would be really to focus on the elections and to, you know, make the best candidate win. When asked later if moving on meant going ahead with multi-cornered seats, Nurul said, I think for now the campaign has been going on full swing. So like it or not, a lot of the other issues we will have to resolve after 7th of May. This was also mentioned by many leaders before me. She was also confident that Pakatan Harapan would stay united despite this clash and that all would be addressed after the elections. Despite a call to move on, it seems that neither the AP or the PKR are giving up claims to each of the six seats. It is not known what kind of an effect this will have on Pakatan Harapan as a whole. However, come 7 May, it is likely that the votes for the opposition will be divided in Sarawak. I'm Patrick Lee, reporting for The Star TV.